Hey guys, what's up, so what's up? It's the Wave Guy here coming back at you yet again for another fucked up video. Alright y'all, so I'm at the Burger King right now. I would really like to say that I'm on my own time right now making this video. Um, okay, so you guys, y'all know uh, working at Burger King has not been easy at all, you guys. I actually hate this place at Burger King. Uh, it's so many issues. But you guys, the one problem that I just recently had, y'all know, y'all remember, I'm not going to mention any names now, you guys. I'm making this video on my own time. So, you guys, uh, I could mention names, but I don't want to, okay? I really don't want to because all it's going to do is add fuel to the fire, okay? So, I mean, today... I actually had a conversation with the boss of this Burger King, right? The actual boss, like not a manager, but the boss. And the, one of the managers was standing right beside him. Uh, they was talking to me about uh, being more professional at work. Be professional at work, like as in, make sure you keep your mouth closed. Don't be yelling out loud, stuff like that. Um, Cause y'all know uh, this one woman, y'all know the one woman, I'm not gonna say her name, but uh, I fell in love with her. I'm still in love with her now. If you if you were wondering that, you know, probably, I know I shouldn't be, but I am. So anyway, uh, just recently I had an argument with her. Like we was like, you know, the, the window before you actually drive off with your food, yeah, we actually had an argument at that window. You know, she actually started talking first, just to add that in. She actually started talking first, you know. We arguing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. She like, Devin, you can leave. Like, for real, I just came up there to get her something to drink, right? I'm, I'm standing there drinking my water that I actually I got out the machine. And she like, Devin, you can leave, okay. So, so she pretty much telling me to walk off. Now, from where I was. Now, you guys, from where I was in the uh, in the restaurant, you know. But like, I'm like, really? Like seriously? When I was like, like she the one who fucking said something first. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, y'all. Right? And then it just so happens that oh my god. I can get the idea after a very bad argument with the woman I love. I come outside. I have an idea to come outside and check on my bike. Because, you know, um, after after argument, something could happen to my bike, right? So I come outside. So I'm, I'm pretty much going to show y'all this. I'm going to show y'all this, right? Okay, so I pretty much leave out the back right here, y'all, right? I leave out the back right here. I walk up here. And just to let you guys know, there's a camera right above my head, right? So, I'm coming up here. I'm like, what the fuck happened to my bike, nigga? Like, for real. What the fuck? Y'all see, um, I'm going to show y'all this. If y'all can see. Now, y'all see the brake is kind of fucked up right here. The brake is fucked up. Like, for real. Now, it just keep on coming loose because the nigga... What he was doing was he was stomping down on my bike with his feet, with his feet, his actual feet. He was actually stomping down on my bike, you know, like I swear to God. And then y'all see, y'all see this, right? Y'all see how fucking bent that is. Let me see if y'all can actually see it from an angle. Hold on. Y'all see that from an angle? Can y'all see how bent that damn shit is right there? Y'all can see that big ass bent in the front wheel? Hell. Don't worry, I called the police already though. So yeah, you guys they told me to wait. The guy that, that was here, he actually talked to um talked to that woman that I was in love with. She actually he actually talked to her, the police officer. <sighs> and he told me to wait five days before I actually give the people call the police again and give them the case number so they can fucking start on this damn case. They can start on my case and try and find out who actually fucked up my bike. Was it fucking, was it the woman's boyfriend or who was it? Was it somebody from her family? Who was it? And again, I want to say that I'm making this video on my own time. 
All right. Making a video of the of the fucking Burger King. Fuck it. <coughs> Cause I'm tired of this fucking shit. You know, like honestly, I see a camera is right there, y'all. Camera is right there. So this nigga, he know what he was doing because this nigga had a, a red mask over his face, covering up like this. So that means he a dark skinned nigga stomping on my bike, okay? So, like for real, so he knew what he was doing. He had his face covered up. He was wearing a black hoodie. So, like, I swear to God, like, how are they going to find that nigga, though? I'm, I'm wondering, how the hell are they going to find that nigga? Because, like, for real, somebody messed up my bike. My bike. Nobody else's but my bike. So, y'all, I'm going to try and drive this thing home. Uh, hopefully, I can ride it. You know, otherwise, fuck, I don't know. For real. Fucking up my bike, boy. So that's the whole story, y'all. Um, it's not going good today at Burger King. Oh, well, it's not going to ever go good at Burger King ever again. Because I'm leaving exactly at 4 o'clock every day. I don't give a fuck if they need help, whatever. I hate this Burger King. My friend can't come back to work that's another thing too about this job too one of my managers actually told her that she can't come back uh this girl nicole the real slim sexy uh latina girl she can't come back because she decided to quit she wanted to come back but she can't come back you know so that kind of pissed me up that pissed me off there you know and they pro they probably got me on video making this video now they got me on video right now shit but i don't give a fuck right now i really don't <sighs> i mean i seriously need this job though let me actually on purpose stand in front of the camera so they can make sure that i'm making this video yes i'm making the video shit i'm making the video because i'm pissed off my bike got fucked up and nobody called the damn police i had to call the police myself you know like for real that shit is fucked up. That shit is really fucked up. And if y'all didn't see, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Wow, Burger King. Wow. I wish a nigga would walk up on me right now. I wish a nigga would. I don't, I don't play right now. I don't, I don't play. Got my heart crushed. And then this happened. I get my heart crushed and then I walk outside to realize my bike is in a fuck, okay? All right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I want to go ahead and say it yet again. I'm making this video on my own time. I can say what I want on my own time. So, you know, that's basically what they was talking to me about this morning when we were standing right here beside my bike. You know, like, you can do whatever you want when you're on your time, but if you when you at work, you know, you got to be professional. Okay, shit, okay. But I'm on my time now, so I'm making my video on my time. So, yeah, just to let y'all know what's going on right now in my life at Burger King, because it ain't good at all. Fuck it. <coughs> as soon as I find another job, I'm out. I'm out this bitch. I'm never going to walk my ass back up in that piece of shit again. I promise you. I know this video kind of seemed negative, but I'm fucking mad somebody fucked up my bike and they ain't do shit about it. All right? Waiting on that shit. So, yeah, y'all. I'm about to go ahead and see if I can ride it home. Peace out, y'all. I apologize if I, if I got a little bit too mad for y'all. Cause like it, it's fucked up. What can I say? It's fucked up. And you, whoever did this, if you watching this video, you a punk ass bitch.